Hello, welcome to our podcast. I'm Pastor Ken Hope, and with me today is my wife, Laura Hope. And uh, we're here today with just uh, some exciting news about what God is doing in our lives. And we just really wanted to come on uh, to the Facebook land and and, uh, <laughs> and share with you what God is doing in our lives. And uh, it, it's interesting when any of us are in a place of transition that uh, sometimes um, it's difficult to, to navigate through that. But when you know that God is leading you, uh, it gives you this peace that right. passes all understanding that, okay. that helps to guard you and, and to, to guide you through. But, but we're excited about what God is doing in this new venture in our lives called Living Stones Church. And it's happening in, in Oldsmar, which is uh, a city in, in uh, Pinellas County. Uh, right. that that's just a, a great place and we've been feeling the, the tug of the Lord to do this and in fact back in 2001 I think it was right I was asked to come speak at a church in Oldsmar mm -hmm. and uh, our good friend Barry Sullivan him and his wife Tracy they were part of our youth group when we were youth pastors way back in the in the 80s and, right. and uh, they uh, became associate pastors of this church in Oldsmar and uh, the pastor that was ministering that day asked me to come and, and actually speak. And afterwards, he gave me a prophetic word. He says, he pointed his finger at me. He says, one day you're going to be in Oldsmar. And uh, I thought, you know, no, we were in Daytona Beach right, at the time. We right. were pastoring there. We were fulfilling our dream and our, you know, our call to ministry. And it just didn't necessarily resonate with right. us at that time that we would be moving to Oldsmar. Uh, but then a few years later with our church in Daytona, Barry, who was then the associate pastor, him and his wife, Tracy, really felt the, the calling of the Lord to begin a work in right. Oldsmar. Right. And they wanted to come under, under our church covering. So we had the opportunity of satelliting a church, uh, you know, yeah. kind of overseeing, overseeing them. They were the pastors. Right. And, and in a way I felt like, and I don't know if you felt the same way, but I felt like that was uh, God confirming that right, word right. And, and that we were uh, kind of doing our part by uh -huh. listening to what he was saying and still having an impact in, in Oldsmar. And they had a wonderful work there and it went really well. And what's funny about that is like sometimes when God gives you a word and you put it into a little area and when something that may look like mm. th the fact that Oh, that word is being fulfilled through someone else. Praise right, God. Right. And so, but that's not always the case. Right, right. And here this was, again, in early 2000, I think right. 2001, 2002, yeah. which now seems like quite a while ago. Uh, so we went on with our lives in Daytona Beach, and the Lord kept you know, blessing us. And we had some challenges there, uh, but uh, we uh, started a work in Daytona called Living Stones Church there right. in 2009. And uh, it, it really became a, a, a real blessing to us. Right. And in our ministry, we were introduced to, to Bethel Church. We started the School of Supernatural Ministry. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then lo and behold, we get a, a call from a friend right. of ours, Jeff Rudolph. And uh, Jeff was elected as the pastor in Clearwater First Assembly of God, which right. was our home church. Right. And he asked us if we would leave our work in Daytona come home and uh and serve the lord by by serving with him right uh, the people of first assembly in clearwater and reluctantly i think a little bit painfully uh, painfully <laughs> uh because we really loved what god was doing in daytona right. and right uh it, it was just but such we a special... also knew that god was in it leading us back to clearwater we, we would have never come back no to this region no, no. and so god had to really use a very close friend yes that we love us. yeah to and that to help we us see supported. what god was saying yeah, right 100 yeah. right. percent. so yeah. Yeah. and that was our assignment and it was a 10-year yeah. assignment yeah and we even told our church in daytona we said we are on and that was a specific word that we are on assignment right and that uh, we felt like there was a beginning and there was an end but there, right. it was an assignment little did we know it would be a 10-year ten ten year assignment, assignment. <laughs> 10 years goes by fairly quickly the older right. you get uh but anyway but it was it was uh, uh fulfilling it was a challenging but fulfilling assignment we loved being with the rudolphs and had just some glorious times with them yes and we we were able to to really see god I think help uh, or use us in the restoration of a of a church that was yeah. really in in uh, just in need of, of restoration. Right. And uh, so so uh, we're we're thankful that we had the opportunity of being used by the Lord in in that work. So then at the close of ten years, 
you know, we, we uh, heard but from... Before the 10 years, when we moved back to Clearwater, we were approached if we would ever think of starting a church in Oldsmar. Yeah, we were. Right. And again, that was the second time that Oldsmar came up. Yeah. yeah. It's come and, up several times yeah. in conversations. It's come right. up in prayer. Of yeah. course, you know, Barry and Tracy Sullivan uh, started the Oldsmar House of Prayer. Right. And uh, so they were deeply involved with, with Oldsmar and, right. and having a heart for that city and that that yeah. area and that region. And of course, they've invited us several times to come and be a part of that House of Prayer those meetings, leading mm -hmm. worship, and right. and being a part of those, and we loved it. It was it was a great time. So we've always kind of had a, a connection, right. you know, even in relationally, a yeah, yeah, in a pool. Yeah, so, but uh, we just did not feel the release. Right, right. And we knew um, what our assignment was, right. and, and I think that that's we were we were pretty much fixed on unless the Lord moves us or speaks to us, we're gonna stay where God put us. And, right, and so that was that was important to us. It was. Yeah. And then, of course, you know, <laughs> the whole uh, door opened up for Radiant Church to right. come in and merge with Clearwater for their Clearwater campus. And uh, we just felt like it was a kingdom move and, uh, mm -hmm. to merge the yes. Connect Church Clearwater in with Radiant. Yes. And now Radiant has uh, since then taken uh, that that Around. helm and, and yeah. that uh, they're going far and they're doing <laughs> yes. well and yeah. they've got some great vision and plans for for that church to just be thriving again right. and right. that's what it's all about it's all about souls it's yes. all about reaching people it's all about kingdom and so we were thrilled that we got to be a part of even that right. transition but that transition left us now at a place where our assignment in Clearwater as far as connect was done it was right. finished so uh, now we were just like, okay, what do we do? Yes, <laughs> and I know you were asking me right. several times what you felt like God was saying to me. Right, exactly. <clears throat> because we were in our living room sitting and talking about, okay, what is our next step? Kind of like we're doing today. We're just right. kind of talking back and forth. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And I said to him, what is it that you feel deep in your spirit yeah. about what you wanting to do? Because mm. whatever you are feeling I will stand beside you. Right, right. And that's when you said to me, well, I really don't feel that God is done with me and I, I really feel that I'm to pastor. Yeah, yeah. And so I said, okay, we'll pray into that. And I said, have you considered then Oldsmore? Mm. And that's when we both said, well, let's pray into that, see right. if God will open up a door there right, right to where we can you know yeah, go yeah and then then we uh go to church like right. we normally do and uh, led worship in the church and pastor jeff was speaking and yeah. he, was, he had a message on on uh kingdom faith and 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 being uh you know t taking some risks and and yes. hearing the voice of god and, and going for it basically right, right. and uh, at, the, at the close of the of the message he goes i feel like i've got a prophetic word and and uh and that was you know a little bit abnormal for not, not that Jeff doesn't operate that way, but it was just a little, it was very much an authoritative right. prophetic move. Right. And uh, he goes, I really feel like God is speaking to someone right. and uh, someone about starting a ministry or a business. And, and the Lord is saying, just go for it, do and it take the risk. and take the risk and, mm -hmm. and take that stand. And we both looked at, looked each, at each other, other and uh, was saying, uh -oh. okay, th this, this, this is, is for us. Yeah, this is This it. is God. Yeah. It was just yeah. that, that yes in our spirit. Right. Right. That we knew that it wasn't just Jeff saying this. It right. wasn't just the, the, the moment of the sermon it, or the message. It was really really the voice of the Lord speaking to our heart, just giving us that go for it. You yeah. Know, uh, Take and, that risk. Yeah, yeah. I'm in it. Yeah. Take that's that right, risk. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and so we're here and uh, this is it. Yeah. And uh, we're, we're in this brand new assignment, this brand uh -huh. new uh, season that, that we're really, really excited about. And uh, we, we're happy to announce to you that that we're uh, starting Living Stones Church. And uh, we're just so thrilled about taking back up what we feel like God had us lay down. Right. Uh, and, and so for 10 years, we, we've laid it down willingly right. because we, we were in obedience, obedience to the yes. Lord. Yes. And, uh, and so now he's allowing us to take it back up. Yeah. And uh, so Living Stones now is happening in Oldsmar. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we've had some uh, interesting challenges trying to find a place to meet because now we're back in this whole pilgrimage mode, you know, right, of, right. of uh, seeing the, the, and it really is an adventure. 
It is. It, and, it, and it's always a, an adventure when you know that God's in it. Right and, right. and we see him opening up doors. I mean, even the name of the church, Living Stones, you know, we at first we were thinking more of Spirit Life, which was a part of, uh, which was the name of our church that we first uh, founded back in uh, 96 in Daytona. Yes. And uh, so we thought Spirit Life, and Spirit Life was the name of the satellite that Barry and Tracy had mm -hmm. in Oldsmar. So we thought, right. thought well, it must be spirit life, you know. Right. Uh, but then, but then the Lord really uh, he had other plans. Had other plans, and ended up being living stones. And and since then, we've been hearing confirmation after confirmation. And, and we have the sto gave us so stones. Someone gave us not knowing what we were doing, gave us a bag of stones, right. and uh, <laughs> uh, just as a further confirmation. I remember turning on Bethel. Uh, church service in Redding, California, and uh -huh. and uh, Chris Volatin was was speaking about stones, and right. and one of the things that really really touched my heart, he talked about uh, the story of of Jacob, you know, on the, the ladder, the head of the dream of the ladder of angels ascending and descending. And that was the first place in scripture in Genesis that 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 talk about the house of the Lord, right, the house of God. Right, right. And he named the place Bethel, which means house of God. And uh, so I really felt like that the Lord was speaking to us and, and saying, you know, Jacob laid his head on a stone when he right, slept. Right. And it was a stone that he laid his head on and, right. and he got up from that stone and, and that place had a name. That town, there was a town there that, that had a name, and but it was very insignificant. Most people wouldn't know the name of that town, but mm -hmm. God changed the name right. to the house of God. And right. So it was really kind of, it touched my heart and kind of confirmed where we were going with Living Stones right. because I felt like, you know, we're we're laying our head down on the stone, you know, we're mm -hmm. and, and we're going to wake up to, to God's transforming because God's the one that transforms. Right. And, and right. so we're believing for the transformation of lives and souls and, and just, just believe leaving God for, for revival in right, Rosemar. Right. And uh, that, that's our heart. So we found the place. Yes. And it's in the heart of Rosemar. Yeah. Which is exactly where we wanted to go. Yeah. Well, in the beginning stages, when we knew what God was saying, we met with Barry and Tracy, who uh -huh. live in Oldsmar. And uh, we met at the steps of City Hall. Yeah. And we shared communion together and just prayed and just really felt like, again, just God's just presence confirming, you know, what was happening. Yeah. And uh, since then, I've, I've received prophetic words from folks that I haven't talked to in a while that, that just felt uh, that, that God put us on their hearts and right. and they shared with us certain things and it's just been confirmation after confirmation right. and and don't forget we have Sean and Megan yes. Flores that are leading us in worship and they do just such a phenomenal job and and we have friends that are, are gathering with us it was, we're just going to have a, a great time we invite you to be a part of that I want to I want to close by by reading our, our theme verse and it comes from first Peter 2 verse 5 it says you also as living stones are being built up a spiritual yes. house. And that, that's yes. what we're believing for. That as living stones coming together, that we're being built up a spiritual house, a holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable right. to God through Jesus Christ. Right. And that really is the the, the verse that, that we're building upon and, right. and believing God for as we go into this new venture in Oldsmar. And we, again, we appreciate you listening. Yes. We appreciate your prayers. And uh, we just uh, uh, appreciate you. We thank you. Yeah. yeah look for our, yeah. Our, our Facebook page. Right. Uh, like it so you can keep up with what's going on with us, too. And we'll be coming on doing probably weekly podcasts and, yeah. and different things j just to share our heart and share what God is doing and, and to keep everybody informed. Yes. So we look forward to seeing you. God bless. Yeah, God bless. Thanks for tuning in.